Good day everyone! Welcome to our English class! Today, we are going to talk about critic writing. Are you ready to listen? Then, let's begin! First, let's answer the question, what is a critic? A critic is a paper that gives a critical assessment of a book or an article. It is a systematic analysis of a piece of literature that discusses its validity and evaluates its worth. Its main purpose is not informational, but analytic and persuasive. Also, in analyzing the content and context within which the book or article was written, the writer of a critic argues whether it is worth reading or not. For the critical analysis template, we have the following parts. First is the introduction, followed by the body, then the analysis, and lastly, the conclusion. Let's discuss them one by one. First, we have the introduction. It states the title of the work, the author's name, and the date of publication. It outlines main ideas of the book and identify the author's thesis. For example, the novel The Metamorphosis by Frank Kafka is an excellent story because the author... Then we have the body. It briefly outlines the main ideas of the book, article, or film. It should involve who, what, where, when, why, and how. You may also choose to discuss the structure, style, or point of view. Examples, this book is about, the author argues that, the setting is, the research was, the main character, the main points are, the theme is, the authors conclude. Then we have, analysis. Critically state what you like and do not like about the book, article, or film. Explain your ideas with specific examples from the book article, or film. Assess whether the author has achieved their intended goal. The analysis may look at whether the work is focused, understandable, persuasive, clear, informative, original, exciting, interesting, well-written, directed at the appropriate audience, meeting, and purpose, well-researched with appropriate conclusions, and more. Then we also have the conclusion. Restate your thesis in new words. Summarize your main ideas if possible with new and stronger words. Include a call to action for your reader. Example, you must read this book because, or this article is not useful because. Now, these are the guidelines when writing a critic. For the context, the question is, what genre is it? Adventure, science fiction, fantasy, or literary? The author's intention? What is the author trying to accomplish with the story? If the story is meant to be funny and isn't, or is meant to be a morality tale but doesn't quite put it off, then it has failed in at least one respect. The third one, your actions. Note your actions as you read. Either keep a spare piece of paper with you or mark your actions on the margins of the text. Number four, literary devices. Figures of speech used in the story and their purpose. The fifth one is the literary technique. Ask yourself if these literary techniques make the reading experience more enjoyable or strengthen the story. And lastly, the ending of the story. Decide how the ending relates both to the story as a whole and its beginning. Does the ending resolve the plot and bring closure to the crisis of the characters? Now, that ends our discussion. Let's try this activity. Get a piece of paper and its answer. I know you can do this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. 
A critic essentially refers to what or an article review. A. How clever the title is. B. How strong your thesis is. C. How many questions you can ask about the article. Or letter D. How you evaluate the accuracy, strengths, and weaknesses of an article. Question number two. What is the first step in critiquing a book or an article? A. Write your actions. B. Note the author's main point or thesis statement. C. Begin by reading the book or article and annotate as you read. Or letter D. Divide the book or article into sections of thought and write a brief summary of each thought in your own words. Last question. Criticism is not mere fault-finding, but an analysis of strengths and as well as weaknesses. Is it A. True, B. False, or C. Maybe? Congratulations for completing the lesson. Thank you for watching and for listening. I will see you again. This is your Maestro Mella, always at your service.